it doesn't really matter how good you get at this game. Um, sometimes the position of the balls are going to stop you making any, shall we say, substantial breaks. The black and the pink might be tied up down this end of the table. So you're relying on the lesser value colours. One in particular is the blue ball. And, you know, to try and keep the break going, you know, you take the blue and then get on the red. But do, again, it doesn't matter how good you get at it, the game, sometimes you're going to get the wrong side of the blue. Now, what do I mean by the wrong side of the blue? Well, if the reds are down in this, this half of the table, the right side is the bulk side, this side of bulk, because we can pot the blue and go down towards the reds. But if we get the wrong side, i.e. this side, then to keep the break going, sometimes you've got to go in and out of bulk. And what I've done here is set up a, a series of balls here, and what I'll do progressively is just replace the red with a white from various positions. Now I want you to remember that this game is all about repetition. Repetition, repetition. And putting what happens into here. So when it crops up in a game, you know, how, you know what to do. You've practiced it. Hopefully you've achieved perfection, which you know is very difficult to do, but at least you'll have some idea of how to get onto the next ball. Now, although we're still the wrong side of the blue, right, the straighter you get on it, the, obviously the more difficult it is to get in and out of bulk. And this table now, the cloth is getting quite old and it's got very, very slow. So because I'm quite straight on the blue, to get in and out of bulk, I really would have to give it a thump. So, but let's see what happens. And all I'm doing is applying topspin on a plain ball shot. All right, top spin only. Let's see what happens. Now I've given that quite a whack, right? I've got in and out of ball, but ideally I wanted to be in this area. All right, so not ideal to get on the red, but at least I've had a go at it. I'll put it in here, what has happened? Slow table, all right, I need to give it a whack. Maybe if I'd applied a little bit of side, right, I could achieve more. So here what I'll do is I'll put, apply topspin and a little bit of left-hand side from the same position. Let's see what happens this time. Not much side, just plenty of topspin. Now you'll see that the side has speeded it up off those cushions and I've got further down. Much better shot. I still have to give it a whack, but equally, I'm happier with the position. Now, the first one, because with no side, came round here. The next one, I came between the bulk colours. The side did that for me. All right. The next position. So, we'll just put them back. And we'll come from here. Plain ball shot. Now, we're nearly at a half ball shot now. Not quite. Bit nearly, but we'll do a plain ball shot, see what happens to the white ball. Now this time, not very good because I've hit the brown ball. All right, so we'll put that back. Remember the angle that I'm at. All right, just plain ball shot, and I've hit the brown, no good. So we'll put another ball back. This time, I'll play that shot, Top spin and a little degree of size. Let's see what happens. Right, now this time you see, what's happened is I've swung the white off the, off the blue, what in effect would be the blue, wider, it's come round the angles, and I've missed the bulk colours, and I'm way down here. So much better again, again it goes in here. From this next position, all right, we'll try this one. Now we're doing a plain ball shot, remember. Now this time I got very close to the green and very close, close to these 
uh, the green pocket angles. Not very good for me. All right, so maybe now we get into the stage where I might consider, rather than hitting the side cushion, I'll come in and out of balk between the balk colours. So here, probably more reliable shot. So this time, instead of topspin, I'm putting a little bit of stun on, possibly a little bit of check, to come back between the green and the brown. Now I've just caught the brown there, got a little bit too much stun on. But the point I'm making is that if you set these balls up, various angles, experiment, you know, experiment yourself, play with topspin, see what happens, put it in here, apply a little bit of stun, see what happens, put it in here, apply topspin, little degree of side, all right? All these things. Remember, the game is about repetition, all right? Repeat what you're doing all the time, okay? Practice it, but practice it from both sides of the table, remember? Otherwise you develop that preference, all right, for the one side of the table. Please don't do that. You mustn't develop a preference. And one last word on that. Good luck with that practice. <laughs>